Hi. In this video, I'm going to show you how to save to a file using a method that we would create for multiple accesses to the same file. So the code that you see on the screen was used in a previous video. And so I'm going to extend this code and create a more general method for writing the files. So let's start at the bottom here where we have the end of our main method and I'm going to create a new function or a new method. So the first thing I'm going to do is call public static void save to file. And then it's going to accept some arguments that we can save. So the three parameters that we'll accept here are first of all a string called file name. And then we'll take a string for the text that we want to add and then a boolean. And we'll call this boolean variable append. So if append is true, then we will add to the file. We will append to it. If append is set to false, then it'll erase the file and replace the contents. So the general code that we created in the previous video is very useful here. So I'm going to copy everything. Actually, I'm going to cut everything and then move it down into my new function. So let's uh, adjust a few things now. So string for file name. Let's uh, put that file name inside of the uh, actual file definition. Now we have another red line that says you have to throw the declaration of IO exception. And then down here in the actual printing, I'm going to change this loop to print the text. So pw.printline. And let's see, we're going to print inside of there is going to be called the uh, text. Okay, so that refactors this into a function or a method that we can reuse many times. So now here at the top, inside of the main function, we're going to call our save to file function. Okay, so save to file needs to have some parameters. We need three of them. So first of all, the file name. So I'm going to create a file called famoussayings.txt. So the first sentence I'm going to put into my file is, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. I think that was uh, Franklin Roosevelt that said that. Now the last parameter is the append. Should it be appended or should it overwrite? Well, for the first guy, it's the first sentence. So I'm going to put in false. We do not want to append the file. We want to erase the file. Let's see what happens here. Save to file has a problem. Save to file, it says, is not spelled correctly. So let's see what the error is. If I hover, it says here, save to file. And it does have a capital F. So I will change that. And now it seems to match here and then the definition. Very good. So let's save it and run the program. So nothing in the console, no errors, but there's actually no file either. I'm looking for something here. So I have to refresh my page. So let's do a refresh, and that is found right here. And so sure enough, famous sayings.txt came out, and we have one line. Very good. Now I'm going to add a few more sayings. So let's do a copy of this line, and let's paste it a couple more times. So the next saying I'll put in here is, ask not what your country can do for you famously said by John F. Kennedy. Now this time, the parameter should be changed to true. And the reason why we want to switch append to true is so that it will save the first sentence and it will put two lines in now. And then the last saying I'm going to put in here comes from Ronald Reagan. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. And that will also be having a true parameter. So now all three of these should be relying on our save to file function. Let's run this and open up the famous sayings and it does not work. So why didn't it work? All I see is Mr. Gorbachev tear down this wall. What happened to the others? And so you can see that I have switched the uh, true and true, but and nothing actually got fixed down in here. So what's missing is when I create the file writer, there is an option here to put comma and then the word append afterwards. And so now that's an optional parameter when I create the file writer. Let's run it again. Okay, let's check out famous sayings. And now we see all three of them. So that appears to be the code that works properly now. So we've uh, refactored our, our saved file into a function. And so we can reuse this thing in our programs over and over and have a simple one line write to file command now.